everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a face up on a Monster High Laguna Blue and making her into Madonna from her Dress You Up video. For the Madonnas I'll usually use a Viperine Gorgon Monster High doll, but the customer wanted a little bit of a softer look to the face, so I used the Laguna. I did a little bit of carving on the mouth just to help a bit with the shape. By the way, if you're a supporter over on Patreon, I've been getting a lot of requests for carving tutorials, so the February Game Changer was uh, me walking through how I do some simple carving on the mouth, and that's available in the reward library now. If you're interested in seeing what I have to offer on Patreon, check out the link in the description box below. I have a library of mini close-up tutorials and game-changing learning modules and tips. Extra special thanks to my patrons for making these videos possible. So since I wanted to do sort of a pale peach skin tone, I chose one of my Laguna Blues from my stock that had uh, more of a pale color to the skin already. And if you will if you have a bit of a collection or have recognized the Monster High dolls in the past, you may have noticed that some of them have more of a turquoise or blue skin, um, but this one was the, one of the palest that I had. Sort of like a pale gray look. So that way I could use my pan pastels in uh, I think it's like a peach or uh, some sort of one of the tints and I'm just giving her a once over with some of that peachy color to make her skin uh, shift a little bit more orangey. And I did some of a custom, a little bit of a custom mix with some of those shades to do the darker areas. I'm using some Madonna reference photos and just doing some shading around the ridge of the nose kind of to deepen in those areas where Laguna's face pops out at the eyes. Um, this kind of makes them appear that to be set back a little bit more. That little tool I was using that looked like a little mini Q-tip is a, called a micro brush. And I've been using them for several years. They're available. I, I actually haven't used them in, um, in a while, but I pulled one out uh, for this video. They're in, I think I have them in my Amazon storefront. The link is in the description box below um, where you can see the supplies that I use and a little bit of information about how I use them. And if you do, uh, purchase something by the way from there I do get a small commission but um, those micro brushes are very helpful for kind of blending in small areas I think they're usually used for eyelash application So unfortunately my hand position was kind of covering up what I was doing there. I'm, I was just kind of adding a little bit of black to the center of the mouth um, under the lip to create a little bit of a shadow over the little teeth that I was trying to make. So at this point, it appears that I've given her one coat of sealant, well, actually a couple of coats of sealant for like a mid, mid seal, just to save my work and add some more layers. I'm trying to add some highlights with some white and then pull it back in some areas with the peach colors. One of my favorite brushes for shading has been that angle brush so like a small uh, to medium angle brush is really helpful in getting some of those uh, sh larger shading areas I'm 
Using some of this Arteza mica powder to add a little bit of gold shimmer to the center of the eye to appear a little bit more like a little bit like eyeshadow. It wasn't giving me enough of the pigment I wanted. It did, did give good, some, some good shimmer, but I wanted some more uh, yellowy pigment, so I added that with more pan pastel. Using an eyeshadow brush, I'm just adding a little bit of pink tones to the forehead and uh, inner eye area and cheeks for blush. Added some eyebrows. I'm trying to make them a little bit thicker and messier um, like Madonna had her eyebrows back in the day. It didn't seem to film, but I had a bit of, uh, for my eyebrows, you may have seen in my previous videos, I typically do them the same way, where I'll add some pan pastel, clean it up a little bit with a, an eraser, and then um, and, and shape it a little bit with the eraser, and then I'll go in with the pencil, to super sharp pencil, to add the hairs. And my apologies for the hand positioning on this one. This looks kind of rough. I keep covering up what the work that I'm doing. I'm so sorry. So adding a little bit more, a little darker shades to her jawbone to give her more a high lift on her cheekbones. And I was really working hard to do the Madonna lip. She has a very specific lip shape, so I was working hard to make that come out by adding darker shades of red to the corners and making that bottom lip sh shape sort of pop in the center with lighter, lighter colors. Just a reminder, if you're wanting to learn at your own pace and have some step-by-step -step guidance, check out what I have to offer on Skillshare. I have a couple of beginner classes there, and if you sign up through the link in the description box below, you'll get two free weeks with no obligation to continue with the service. So while this video is just the face up, I filmed it last year and the ones that I've been doing more recently and um, my goal for 2021 is to make sure that I'm filming more of the full process. I want to dedicate a little bit more time to uh, YouTube where I can. I do, um, YouTube is not where I make my living. My living is actually doing commissions on dolls. So um, I, I hadn't been dedicating most of my time with YouTube, but I'm, I'm going to try to do a little bit better this year. So let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see. And uh, stay tuned for those videos coming up soon. Make sure to sub subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I have new videos. So what did you guys think of this Madonna? Do you prefer the ones I've done with the Viperine sculpt or this Laguna version? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed if you hadn't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.